Hi guys, I hope you're all okay. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, I am Laura. Um, if you're not, then welcome back. Today I am going to be filming a Christmas decor haul, which I'm so, so excited about. I love Christmas, as you can probably tell from my Christmas jumper that I'm wearing in November. Um, but I absolutely love Christmas and I'm so excited for it very much ready to get into the Christmas spirit things now. I really have got such a huge pile of things to get through here, but first of all, I wanted to mention that this video is a collab with the gorgeous, gorgeous Lisa. If you're not subscribed to Lisa already, then after this video, head over to her channel. She's also filming a Christmas decor haul. Um, her channel's amazing, honestly. She is beautiful. She's got two lovely little boys, um, a third on the way, and she's just lovely. So make sure you do head over and subscribe to her. We go way back into beauty blogging days, I guess, since about 2011, when we was commenting on each other's blogs. Um, and yeah. It's kind of gone full circle because we're now both with Channel Mum who have also done a whole bunch of Christmas videos which I'll link below. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really excited to film this collab with her. I'm kind of rushing through this bit because I've got so much to get through as well as I'm up against time with the baby's nap. So yeah, let's get started. I am obsessed with Christmas. Honestly, I'm so in love with everything about it. The lead up in particular and the day itself, the decorations, the music, absolutely everything. Um, so I cannot wait to decorate the house from top to bottom. I think this year I'm going to tone it down a little bit um, early on in December because Everly's birthday isn't until the 21st. But as soon as the 22nd hits, I am going, I'm going to go mad with it um, and just Oh, I'm just so excited and rambling. I'm completely rambling. Let's get started. The first thing I have here is this Star Silhouette Light. I got these last year. I got two or three of them last year. They were a huge hit in the household and on Instagram, I may add. They're from John Lewis and they're £10 and they've got fairy lights in copper wire all the way around. I love these. Um, I'll probably insert a picture of them like on display from last year. Um, I had to get another one because I did sell out last year um, and they're only £10 which I think is pretty good. They're battery powered which is hidden away in this little pouch and I just love it. I just think on a desk or like a dresser, a shelf which is where I had them last year, they're lovely. They're my perfect kind of style when it comes to Christmas decor. If you can hear a whole load of jingling, it's not Father Christmas, it is in fact scaffolders outside that decided to work when I wanted to film. Next I have probably one of my favourite decorations I would say and it is this from Marks and Spencers and I adore it. There's tons of woodland animals all around and yeah it just looks pretty magical. Everly saw it this morning and was like oh um, and I must say I kind of had the same reaction. This was I think £20 from Marks and Spencers um, I just love it a lot. It's going to go up on the mantelpiece, but also it's going to go on Everly's like birthday table uh, because her birthday, I think, is going to be woodland themed. So this will probably fit in very, very well. Um, look at the little bunnies. If you saw my vlog last weekend, then you'll see that I actually went shopping with Mike and the children to get some of this stuff. Um, and I was in John Lewis and I saw these and I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Paper chains. I feel like paper chains were a huge thing when I was small at Christmas time and I picked these up for Harrison um, to do as a bit of an activity really um, but he can decorate his bedroom in these and I think he'll have a lot of fun. They were £5 and you do get a fair amount in there so I doubt they'll all be used this year but they'll go up in the box in the loft for next year. I just think it's quite a nice idea um, to get Harrison into the spirit of things as well. Um, a nice activity for us to do maybe after school and we get quite a lot of them in there too, which is a bonus. As much of a Christmas girl as I am, believe it or not, I'm not very much into tinsel. I know, right? Um, but I picked up a little one today in John Lewis again. It's just a tiny seven metre gold tinsel and it was only £2.50. Um, I just thought, I don't know what I thought really. But it's cute and I'm sure it will look nice somewhere, maybe in amongst some fairy lights, which I don't actually think I've got many fairy lights in here, but I love fairy lights. I have a lot of fairy lights. Um, so yeah, 
I'm sure it will have its uses and it's only £2.50. If you can't have a gorgeous candle at Christmas, then when can you? Um, I love neon candles. I've got one burning over here, but their Christmas candles are gorgeous and a bit of a decoration themselves. This is Christmas Wish. It smells absolutely beautiful. I had one last year, which was a three wick, um, and it had a gorgeous like Christmas design around it. Picked this one up this year. Um, it is mandarin, cinnamon and tonka bean, which I'm sure you can just smell it already with your imaginations. It is gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to burn that. Even the box is gorgeous. I asked Mike whether or not we should change our Christmas theme this year. At the moment, well, forever, we've had like a red, white and gold theme. I'm kind of liking the idea of like coppers and autumn colours. I picked up this pine cone from John Lewis. It was £3 and it is a tree decoration but I thought actually stood up that way would look quite cool on the mantelpiece or on my shelving unit over here. It's covered in glitter um, and it was £3 I believe. Yeah, £3. Not particularly Christmas decor um, but I had to show you this. How sweet is this little mug? Again, John Lewis, um, Santa's little helper mug. Harrison is so into hot chocolates at the minute after school. He's like, can I have hot chocolate? So I thought this would be really cute. Um, at the moment he's using a small Father Christmas cup, but I was like, hey, that's what we've got to use for like Christmas Eve. And if it gets broken, then I'll probably be a little bit heartbroken myself. Um, so yeah, I picked him this up and it was five pounds. There's a gorgeous shop on Instagram called Paper Peonies and the girl that runs it is just absolutely divine. She has lovely, lovely products. And last year, she very kindly gave Harrison um, a bauble with his name on it. She was like, what's your little girl's name going to be? Because she hadn't been born yet. Um, but we hadn't decided. And she was like, make sure you get in contact next year um, and we'll get her a matching bauble. And very kindly, she sent this over, which... I just love, I'm so happy they're going to have matching. I think Harrison's got like a silver or grey um, bow. But yeah, how gorgeous is that? It's like ceramic and oh, it's, I love it. I really love it. And is that not just the nicest handwriting ever? Um, I'm going to link her Instagram and her store below. Um, so if you are after a personalised bauble, I definitely recommend picking up one of these. Following this, very, very kindly, she sent over something that I just think is the most magic thing in the whole world, and I can't wait to fill it up. When it comes to the children, I like do like them to have like the same things, so I couldn't imagine Harrison having a Christmas Eve box and then Everly kind of not having the same matching one. Um, I know that's not a huge deal, but it's just me. Um, look how amazing this is. Harrison and Everly's Christmas Eve box again from paper peonies and just completely gorgeous very much my style i love a wooden crate um if you watch my videos then you will know that already um but yeah i cannot wait to film this up and if you want to see a video of what kind of things i put inside a christmas eve box then let me know something else i picked up in marks and spencers is this gorgeous snowman i i couldn't not get him i see things like this and I instantly become very attached. And I love him, I really love him. He was only five pounds, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, he's a fairly good size. And yeah, I love him. I'm tempted to change the whole theme, like I said, to like a autumn-y, like woodland-y felt kind of thing. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, but yeah. I just love him and he's so sweet he's gonna look lovely on a shelf or maybe even in one of the children's bedrooms um but yeah i fell in love with him and i couldn't leave him in the shop just like this little guy i couldn't leave him either this was from home sense he was 4.99 and he's from the brand ruby and rudy i did search for ruby because i'm guessing that this could potentially be Rudy. Um, I just couldn't leave him and I was like, oh my gosh, he needs to sit on a shelf or hang outside of a stocking or something. Um, he's very, very sweet. I don't know what's happened to me, um, but yeah, it's Christmas and how could you not? I 
saw a snow globe in John Lewis, I believe, and I really liked the base of it, but I wasn't too like keen on the inside. I think it was an owl, and I was like, mm, not really an owl kind of gal. Um, but then I saw this one in Home Sense, TK Maxx, and it was $12.99. It plays a lovely song, which is probably gonna wake up heavily. Um, I love it, it's got two little deer inside and yeah. I'm still on the hunt for like a magical children's one that hopefully the kids will pick and be like that one. Um, but for now, this one's gonna do. And it was only 12 99 which I think is really, really reasonable. I picked up this branch of pine cones um, just because I have a bit of a thing for pine cones this year. This has been sprayed in like a gold paint and it has little tiny, well I'm guessing it's probably meant to be like raindrops or something, but I loved it and I couldn't not get it, it was $2.99, um, but I did actually get it because I picked up this um, wreath from my door in a, oh, Father Christmas, um, let me get him off of there. Um, I picked this up in Home Sense. I've been looking for the perfect one for my front door and I saw this but I was kind of like is it missing something so the idea behind this is I'm gonna remove them from the branch and super glue them throughout and um, probably not all of them but I think just a few of them inside will look lovely um, and then I can hang this up on my door it was 19 99 which is pretty reasonable um, it's not too big, not too small, and I think it'll just look nice and welcoming and cosy on my front door. I love a star silhouette, as mentioned earlier. So I picked this up in Marks and Spencers. I feel like this is kind of the in thing this year. I know that Ikea have got one very similar. I think Sainsbury's do as well. Um, this has got bells on it, which I really like. And it was how much? £12.50 which I think is really good um, I would have preferred maybe had this been copper um, or silver it's just kind of a painted grey is that grey? almost like a grey green tone um, but I like it it will look lovely somewhere I'm not quite sure where um, but we'll find a home for it for sure I love it of course, whilst I was roaming home sets, I had to pick up a couple of candles. I feel like it's a bit of a rule. Um, this is a DW Home Essence cinnamon candle. It's a small one, so it was 2 dollars It smells insane. It smells so, so good. And I'm going to pop this away for when I've got, like, visitors. So I can just pop on a little candle. Maybe not, like, use my neon one. <laughs> um, and then I picked up this one, which is apple cider, which is honestly... Potentially one of the best Christmas candles I've smelled. I picked this candle holder up in Marks and Spencers. It is a wooden star silhouette. Surprise, surprise. Um, with a little tea light holder inside. I thought this was really reasonable. It was £9.50. Um, I actually saw it when they had 20% off of their home. And I'm gutted that I didn't pick it up then. Um, but I kept thinking about it. And I was like, yeah, got to go back and get it. Went back to get it. Wasn't on offer any longer. But... Still, really nice. I've got some white wooden shelving up here, and I think that that's going to live on there. I've got like a wooden white star that's got lights in it, um, so maybe it could kind of sit next to that, or I don't know, but I like it. There's definitely a theme here, isn't there? These little animals here aren't necessarily Christmas decor, um, but after Everly's birthday, which might be for and um, I'm gonna put them on my shelves um with oh my god they could look quite cute near the tinsel or near the pine cone um either way they're lovely and if you are looking for little Christmas decorations um that maybe you want to DIY or something then these could be really cute they're from that toy brand oh how am I gonna say this I'll link it below. Um, they're all different prices. So I got a bear, a little bunny, and a fawn or a deer. Um, and I couldn't resist. They're lovely. Um, and then the little Father Christmas that you saw earlier from 
home sense yeah home sense and this was 2 99 had to get him just in case i do go for the felt theme felt theme what even is that and finally last but by definitely no means least is something that's very very special not only is it a fairy light but it's also pine cone fairy lights two of my favorite things i love warm white um at christmas which surprised me i always felt like i would have been a bright white gal um but i do love warm in the winter and this is the pine cone decorative lights like a, a garland um so i don't know where it's gonna go maybe along my banister upstairs i don't know because i have got a lot of fairy lights that i'm equally in love with um but we'll find a home for it they're indoor lights um there's just something a little bit special about them they're from marks and spencers and they cost 15 pounds which i was pretty impressed with to be honest and that is everything that is my christmas decor haul so far there's nothing to say that there won't be a second one to be quite honest with you because i love buying christmas stuff so thank you so so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this christmas decor haul i hope it's given you some inspiration and if not a little bit of inspiration and then a little bit of christmas cheer because that's what they're all about make sure you now head over to lisa's channel who's also done a christmas decor haul it's gorgeous and you mustn't miss it because it really is lovely um leave me a comment let's talk about christmas leave me a comment telling me your favorite thing about christmas um your favourite place to shop for Christmas things, whether that's for the home or for food or for gifts. Um, yeah, let's just spread some Christmas joy on YouTube. Um, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.